Hey guys, welcome back to the Mind Crack Feed the Beast server. We're here back at the spawn village. I've done some work on the town square and I'm walking on air. Oh ho, I'm walking on air here. So, I've done some work here. Um, did a little bit of work, got all of the mini uh, store plots around the edge set up so uh, before the end of this video I'm gonna put signs in each one explaining what they're for that everybody can take one and they're ready to be uh, they're ready to be claimed for anyone who happens to want one it still remains to be seen how many people are actually gonna show an interest uh, good's already taken one so that's uh, one out of 28 taken then over here we've got a circle road kind of at the base of the where the portal's gonna be uh, kind of links up this main road with, um, I guess, the main road that continues in that direction and whatever road goes this way. There's not a whole lot of land on this side of the town. People uh, pointed out in the comments that um, some people thought it was a little odd that... Oop, hey -o, let's hover a little bit. Jetpack is full. Uh, people pointed out that um, we're kind of at the edge of town, and that's true. Uh, I almost thought of taking this town square thing and putting it over here. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of reasons why I didn't do that. For one thing, it's, it's kind of impossible to tell exactly how the town is going to develop. Uh, we still haven't made the plots for this side of town, and it's kind of hard to say how many people are going to claim plots over here. Because a lot of the plots, like a lot of people playing on the server have already claimed a plot and have already started making stuff here. Now, people like, say, Nedbrus made a power station here. He may make a house in a residential plot over here. I'm not really sure if he would want to, um, just using him as an example. But we already have this established main street here. Um, so if I had moved the uh, the town square over to this area, we would have I would have had to make the main street here. Um, and I would have had to take for granted that uh, I would or I would have had to assume that all these plots would be used <laughs> and what if none of these plots ever get used we'd have a main street with just empty plots up and down it which would be kind of weird so uh, I decided in the end to put the uh, the town square over here and it's okay that the town isn't um, kind of symmetrically laid out very few cities are they kind of just happen and you try to work in as much structure and hierarchy as you can. Um, so it's okay that the uh, the town square isn't in the very center of the town. But uh, what, I, what I did want to stress was getting empty there. What I did want to stress was that it, it's possible for people to find their way around town and to the town square. Um, also, when we get the uh, mistcraft up and running, we may add some portals here, some mistcraft portals. And I don't think everybody would get a, uh, a Mistcraft portal. There's not enough room in this town square for everybody to do that. They might, they can do that in the uh, in the Nether Hub. That's a good place for that. That's basically what it's for. If they don't want to have a rail line, if they want to uh, have their route to their place be more direct, they can set up a Mistcraft portal there. We may have a few portals to important locations here, like uh, if we end up killing the dragon and have a, an Ender and Ender. Um, we may put a portal here, or we may just put that in the nether hub with all the other portals uh, and train train tracks. Uh, but anyway, um, let's see. Oh, I was going to... I started recording uh, because I want to make something. I was going to wait for a while and do more work off camera before I started recording. But I want to make a mining laser so I can manipulate this land. I'm going to replace part of it with grass. I may put some trees in here, some paving. We're going to start building the uh, kind of, it's going to be kind of like a Mayan temple kind of thing. Uh, the stairs are going to be kind of steep if I can get that to work. This is probably going to be maybe three blocks high or something like that. Um, but I want to make a mining laser so I can uh, dig through these blocks and replace them faster. And I wanted to show off just how how much harder it is to make stuff with Greg Tech on max difficulty uh, at least the stuff that Greg Tech um, changes so we're gonna make a mining laser you remember in my previous videos it wasn't too difficult to make it took some diamonds and stuff but not not a big deal 
we're gonna need, uh, except for the sword, the arrows, and the armor. Motherfucker! Some bitch. <laughs> Um, <laughs> startled me a little bit. Uh, we're gonna use all this stuff and maybe even a little more. I may have to snag some more tin. But look at all this stuff. We're gonna need all of it. So, mining laser. Um, still gonna need advanced alloy. That's not too bad. Uh, we can make those. I actually already made those. We're gonna need a ruby. No big deal. Oh, and thank you for people who told me I could hold shift to stop the recipe from rotating. We're gonna need an energy crystal. No big deal. Already made that. Uh, we're going to need two titanium ingots. So to get that, we have to uh, put titanium dust in industrial blast furnace. To get that, we need uh, four tiny piles of titanium dust per that. So we're going to need eight total. To get that, we have to industrial electrolyzer some bauxite dust. So I need to do 48 of that. The electrolyte, is it this one? No, that's the grinder. This is the blast furnace. That is the implosion compressor. The electrolyzer, is it one of these? Electrolyzer, okay. So this is already full of somebody's stuff that it has finished going. Uh, so I'm just going to see they were doing the same thing I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this here and I'll figure out who was doing it. Let's see, how much do I need? I'm gonna need eight of these guys. Um, which means I need to do 48 bauxite dust. And I may do more just to have titanium laying around. Uh, but we need to do 48 of that. And we need to drop in some of that. Um, is that the right place? Let me look again, see if I have the, the right number of those cans. Oh yeah, that's the right place. Okay, so we're, we're gonna do 48, we need 24. Yes, yes. 24. Okay, and that should start going. Okay, it is starting, it's powering up. Lovely. And I'll just hold on to this and give that to uh, whoever's using it. Okay, so while that's going, uh, that's making our titanium, then we have to make this guy. Now check this out. This is ridiculous. We have to make a 360K helium coolant cell. To get that, we need six pieces of tin, um, one dense copper plate, and two 180K helium coolant cell. Dense copper plate is easy, I already made it. It's eight copper in a compressor. We already have it right there, all right? <laughs> so next, we need two 180K helium coolant cells. To make that, each of those need six tin, so 12 more tin. Then we're gonna need three of these, so six 60K helium coolant cells. Each of those takes four tin, uh, so that's 24 more tin, and a helium cell. How do we make a helium cell? Well, we have to industrial centrifuge 16 glowstone dust just to get one. <laughs> so it's a little ridiculous, but um, let's see, I need 32, 64. I need to do a stack and a half of glowstone dust. If you can even do, was that the electrolyzer or the, hang on, let me look at that again. Um, centrifuge, okay. So, we're, it's it's a lot of stuff. This is the electrolyzer. That's the blast ferny. Um, what, I guess the, uh, oh, okay. No, this is what we need. Okay, somebody's using this too. Um, <laughs> so, we've gotta get all that going. So, let me see. Um, let me put this here so I can keep track of whose stuff is whose. You know what, I'm gonna put a box down on the ground here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let me see if I can find some spare boxes in here somewhere, and then I can put them on the ground by the thing. So whoever was using it when they pick it up can just get it from the box. Uh, I can probably snag one. I've been stealing, st uh, <laughs> I've been stealing, actually, is this empty? Not, thank you, you're empty, okay, this'll do. I've been stealing uh, supplies from Goo, just like stone and dirt and stuff, to uh, to make all these paths from uh, his stuff right here. Okay, so let's run back here, and we will drop a box in front of each of these. 
that guy and that guy. So this one had this stuff in it. That's somebody else's stuff. And then this one, is it, I guess it's done. Whoops. I guess it's done because it's not powering up. It must not have enough to do another compressed plants. It must not have enough to do another uh, cycle. So let's put that in there. Okay, that's all their stuff. Okay, good. So then we need to, I need to do a stack and a half of this. Holy cow! So after this gets done centrifuging and electrolyzing, uh, I'll, I'll resume recording just to build this dumb mining laser. All right, everything is done. I actually, I did a little bit of extra just so I could have more of these helium cells. I have a feeling uh, I'm going to need them, but look what we got out of it. 48 gold dust, uh, which will give us 48 gold bars, which is nice. Uh, we have enough to make what we're going to need to make. Um, so, first thing we need to do is come, let's see, we need to take our tiny piles of titanium dust, turn those into regular titanium dust, stick those suckers in the industrial blast furnace, they'll be good to go for a little while. Um, next, we need to find a crafting bench. Okay, <laughs> we have to take these guys. We have to make... Oh, no, wait. We have to turn these helium cells into the coolant, guys. So we need six of these, which is 24 tin, plus the tin we spent on the empty on the uh, empty cells. That gives us 60k. Oh, and they don't stack. That's awesome. Always love hearing that. Okay. Let me stand right next to them so I can pick them up. Um, then we need to turn the, to turn the uh, 60k ones into 180k, like so. That gives us a 180k. Do it again. <laughs> All for a laser gun. Now, the, the mining laser, like the portal gun, it was pretty imbalanced. So I think it makes sense that it's complicated and expensive to make. So I, it's fine. I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to demonstrate how many things you have to assemble to make it. Now let's see, we need to do, uh, let's do that. To put the, oh, we're still missing uh, these guys. Let's see what the progress on those is like. Uh, one good thing about having a spawn village where everybody sort of works on a different thing is I, I would not have all of these machines set up yet if I was trying to do this on my own. Oh, look at that, it's almost done. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's head back to here. Let's see if I can just remember. Uh, I think energy crystal goes there. Ruby goes there. The 360,000 helium coolant cell goes there. Plates go here. And the advanced circuit go here. And voila! Mining laser! Ha <laughs> ha! Um, okay, so let's head down here. There's an MFSU that I will use to charge this up. And then we're gonna start blowing apart some landscapage. Actually, uh, is this the best? This may not be the best place to do this. Let me stick that. Um, that thing seems like it charges kind of slow. So all of the, ouch, um, solar panels are coming out here. I'm wondering if the power is getting drained in anything before it gets to that. Gas turbine, generator, Generate. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Good. Um, that's charging up faster than an MFE would. Uh, this is kind of a neat technique that uh, I think I'm going to employ. Instead of making a world anchor, uh, Nebris has a quarry right here that he has no intention of ever using. Uh, you can tell because he surrounded the thing on in dirt just to make sure it never gets hooked up by accident. Uh, but it keeps the chunks loaded. And it's, it's, uh, that's more convenient. It's more expensive than a world anchor, that's for sure. But the cool thing about it is you could make a huge quarry and keep your whole base um, in a chunk-loaded state. And we're almost done. Um, instead of making, like, uh, nine world anchors. So I, I may try that. I may do that. Maybe not. <laughs> And I'm back, 
It's been a couple of days since I recorded that last clip. I had a few problems with uh, <laughs> with my internet being very sporadic, and I, I was actually, uh, last night I was playing on the server, and I was getting disconnected probably once or twice a minute. Literally once or twice a minute. It was ridiculous. Getting lots of block lag where you'd break several blocks and they'd reappear. You have to re-break them, then you get disconnected, reappear on the server, and everything's back like three minutes ago, and... Yeah, very frustrating, but I think uh, I think it was on my end. Nobody else on the server was having problems. Um, and I reset my modem and my router this morning, and it seems to get to have gotten better. I think uh, I think one of those pieces of machinery, either my modem or my router, may need to be replaced. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, not that important. So let's get uh, let's continue building. I added in some wood. For the main street and for the ring around the uh, around the portal here, and this is the acacia wood, which grows in the savanna. It's these trees right here. Looks like this. Um, I think it's a little bit lighter than birch, or is it, it's a slightly different color than birch, but it grows in the savanna, and I think the color of it looks nice with the color of the grass in the savanna, which is what uh, most of most of the town is in the savanna biome. All of this, uh, a lot of this is savanna. Um, all of this is savanna, and then there's there's some wasteland here. But even the uh, the color of the grass in the wasteland isn't very different. Here we can see right here we're in savanna. They may actually be identical. Yeah, we're in savanna here. We're in wasteland here, and they are identical. So that's actually kind of cool. That um, that they're the same. So once we turn all of this to grass, you won't even be able to tell we're in the wasteland. Uh, the only time the grass changes is where this river used to be, where all these guys, typical people building cities, man, they come in a city and the first thing they do is board up and like fill in and destroy all the natural features, smooth everything out, destroy all the hills and valleys and <laughs> whatever. Um, end rant. So we're going to be working today on uh, the portal steps, and I want to work with the uh, the redstone subblocks. I think they're called, which everybody's been uh, <laughs> loving to death, and it, I haven't gotten around to messing around with them, and we're going to do that today. Um, so I added this circle around around the portal here. Here, let's uh, bring up the big mini map. You hit that by you get that by hitting X. Yeah, uh, the oh. Looks like, what is it doing? Is it updating down there? Let's run over here, see if we can get it to update. It must be out of date or something. That's very weird. Okay, let's turn that off. But it, it's very uh, detailed. Ooh, yeah, it is going all glitchy. Um, anyway, so my idea for the portal here, I'd like to have some sort of, almost make it look like a Mayan temple. I'd like the steps to be kind of steep and have it be sitting Maybe even a little bit higher than this, so that it looks kind of foreboding a little bit. Um, and I've got a series of blocks here. Not those. These. Uh, potential blocks to use. I got a lot of basalt from a nearby volcano I found. I also have a few ruby blocks. You just throw some rubies in a compressor. Got some dark zycorium you get from uh, putting and red zycorium from putting those crystals in a uh, in a three by three grid in a crafting bench, and then also got some snow blocks. Uh, but first, but first, I want to experiment a little bit, and to do that, we're gonna need. Let's make two. Let's just go to make two. Uh, we're gonna need to make. Some, some hand saws, which I've been wanting to mess around with, but I wanted to wait until I could do it on camera. So I, I've sort of delayed getting around to it. Here we go, sapphire hand saw. You can make them just with iron, but the iron ones can only cut certain blocks. And uh, let's put the sapphires away too. And then I've got some stone. I'm just gonna experiment with the stone for a little while. Uh, because I only have a certain number of these and the stone's easy to come by. So let's just experiment with what we can do. So we put the hand saw in there. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we get stone slabs. So, um, stone slabs 
can orient, they orient to whatever face you put them on. If you go in the middle, they'll go down like that. If you uh, sort of hover your mouse over at the edge, we can go in the side and you can walk up them. Now there's something I want to try. Um, let's see, can we overlap these? No. There's something I want to try with the uh, with making stairs. So if we go into, let's just click stair in here. You can see there's only, what, 14 types of stairs in the game. You can see there's no stone brick stairs, right? So what I want to do is I want to make some stairs out of blocks that uh, we don't normally have stairs in. So let's just get like 18 of those. And then I think if you do them like this, like that, there we go. Stone slab strip. Yeah, I want some of these. Okay, take these out. So I want to see if we can make uh, stairs from scratch, basically with any of the blocks we can uh, we can use here. We can cut up. So that there we go. That's a stone stair, um, and we can make the shape. What I want to find out though is if, um, what would next be here? Uh, I want to find out if um, the game will interpret it as a stair and let us walk up it. Because that's the important bit. If you can't walk up it, what's the point? And you can! Okay, so next, uh, next thing I want to experiment with. Um, let's make a bunch of these. Oops, that's too many. Whatever, that's fine, I have more stone. Um, let's get another stack out. Okay, and then we can do that a few more times. No, that's the wrong way. You wanted it above. Okay, and that'll give us a panel. And just get a bunch of those. And is that as thin as it goes? No, a cover is as thin as it goes. There we go. Um, let's see, let's orient these in order. Panel, and then there's there's a <laughs> there's degrees in between these. So this is a stone cover, and that is one eighth of a block. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to make uh, half versions of all of these. Oh, no, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I know you can. Huh, okay, um, or let me, oh, go back, no, 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 what I want to see is, here, let's, let's hit you with this one, I want to see if I can make half of this, um, let's see, hmm, huh. okay, um, let's look in just the general menus here, see if we can do this. If I can't do this, this may change my plans quite a bit. Yeah, hmm, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I was hoping to make a half a panel instead of a, uh, a strip like this, but it doesn't look like you can. Huh, um, crap. Well, what I wanted to do... <laughs> Yeah, let me let me combine one of these. Let's get uh, one of the half guys or one of the. Let's see. Let's get a cover and a panel. That gives you a triple cover, and then we'll get a slab and a triple cover. That'll give us an anti cover. So that is uh, seven tenths of a block. You can see there's room there for just the um, the panel. What I wanted to do was put half of a panel here. And have you walk up it and then have the steps be extremely steep uh, but it doesn't look like that's possible unfortunately darn 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 <laughs> that was something I was really looking forward to do looks like we can only do this what if we go above nothing okay um, let's just make a few of these okay and that'll give us the little dots and that gives us nothing. What if we combine them? That turns it back into a cover. What if we do this? 
back into a cover. Uh, that, that turns it into a panel. Okay, very a lot of a lot of cross recipes here. Oh, what, what happened there? Put seven in there. It gives us a slab. That's interesting. And if we do this, still a slab. But if we do this. Nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought that's how you got the uh, the hole. No? Do you have to put the saw in there? Huh, okay. Well, I'm obviously missing something. Um, let's see. Let's hit you for that. Or no, R. R! Maybe we have to start with the whole block. This isn't really telling me how I get them. Um, okay, so maybe we have to start with the small ones? Is that what it's trying to tell us? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get that from uh, from starting out. But anyway, if we put this, if we just put that there, we can't walk up that. I wanted it in. I really wanted a half one so we could have a really steep set of stairs. Huh? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit, and then I'll uh, and when I figure something cool out, I'll I'll resume recording. All right, so I can't do exactly what I wanted with the stairs, but um, I think it's still gonna look basically straight enough or steep enough. Uh, so how about some design snapshots? I'll give you a little clips here and there as I work on things. So the stairs have to be, unless I can think of something else, the stairs have to be at a 45 degree angle, but we can make the rest of it steeper. That's no problem. So that's probably what I will do. Um, so here's the initial little proposal I'm proposing to myself. So as I said, uh, we, I raised up the portal and ended up being about three blocks. And there's a few design considerations here. Um, one, um, we have to, it has to be able to hit this level, which is not a big deal. Let me just add that right now. Uh, that works fine. The other problem is that uh, this is gonna be portal, all four of these. And the center here may be filled, maybe not. But um, I would like the outside to be able to walk around it kind of comfortably. And so this circle may need to get a little bit bigger to allow people to walk around it. Maybe one more block in diameter. But then in proportion, that may make the top too big. We may have to either lower it one block or move the stair out one block. We'll see. Okay, so I lowered it uh, one block. And I think that's too low. It looks a little bit too squat. It's not the proportion I'm going for. So I'm gonna raise it back up and extend the stair out. So I raised it back up. So we have the new bigger radius up top. Uh, the, only, the only issue I foresee is that we don't have much room to play with around the edge here between uh, this circle and where the building starts. That may be an issue. Um, I may just revert the circle back down to where it was, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Hey, hey, look what I did. Am I a problem solver or what? So we have the portal at the correct height. By correct, I mean the one that I think looks better. We have the original staircase with uh, a little bit of a setback between, uh, between this guy. So we have a little bit of room here on the edge to have something flat to distinguish this edge of the path and whatever this thing ends up being. And then all I did was I set back these stairs one block and it, uh, it barely interrupts the circle. I may do something with these too, but uh, I think that shape is, let's zoom up a little more. Zoom. I think that shape is a good shape for the portal. It's, it's gonna be kind of ominous. These, uh, the cobblestone here is just to get an idea of the shape. It's not the final material, um, but it's easy to build with quickly to get an idea of the shape. So anyway, uh, I think I'm actually going to end the video here. It's been kind of dragging on. It's been several days since my last released episode. 
next time we'll continue with this and I'll also um, I need to find my permanent base location I'm still in that kind of temporary setup and I'm ready to go scouting for my permanent base so we'll probably do that next time hope you enjoyed the videos see you later take it easy have a good day bye bye